zeros of a polynomial. The zeros of a polynomial f of x are values of x, which makes f of x equal zero. So if they ask me to find the zeros of this, I guess I have to equate the whole function line, the whole function towards zero. So I equate the whole function to zero. L squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. It does tend to a normal quadratic, right? Why I have to solve this? So what two numbers will I multiply again minus 8 and add and get for 2? But I practice. this. So positive 4x, negative 2x minus 8. A 3 term, assumption is made to a 4 term, right? It makes grouping very easy. So that is x out, s plus 4, minus 2 out, s plus 4. So you have s minus 2, s plus 4, all equals what? 0. Now implication, s minus 2 equals what? 0. So x equals 2. Also, s plus 4 can also be equal to what? 0. s equals minus 4. Therefore, the zeros are 2, comma minus 4. What's here? Why do you call them zeros? Can't you see they have taken the position of a zero? They have taken the position of where a zero is. So they can be called zeros. Are you okay? Good. When the polynomial f of x is divided by this, the remainder is minus six. <coughs> so that is our polynomial. There's a polynomial. That is mx minus two. When it's divided by this. What that with the long division method or what? The remainder is this. Now, when you want to go to a long division method with this variable, you struggle. So, why don't you use the remainder theorem, right? So, from remainder theorem. So, from the remainder theorem, it follows that x minus 1 should be equal to 0. So, x equals what? 1. So, I have to now chip in f of 1 into the function. So, f of 1. That is 2. 1 q. That is 1 squared m1 minus 1, 2. Let's go. That is 2 minus 1 minus m minus 2. What are you going to get here? Now they said something. They said when this is divided by this, the remainder is minus 6. Means I have to add it right. The remainder is minus 6. So everything is equal to what? Minus 6. That is what it means, right? So, so everything is equal to minus 6. So this is equal to what? Minus x. Agreed? Why did I do that? When this is divided by this, the remainder is minus x. So when you are also divided, you use the factor to that's what you get. So when you are doing it, then your remainder should be minus x. That is why it is 2. Okay? So this is 1 minus x. So m minus 3, right? Minus, minus m minus 1 equals minus x. So minus m equals minus minus 6 plus 1. Minus m equals what? Minus 5. I have to divide 2 by what? Minus 1. m is what? 5. Good. That is the value of m. Determine the value of the constant m I have. Hence, factorize f of x completely. I have to do my testing. Oh, but that's the good thing of infinity. Trust me, right? So, you test for factors of constant. What is the constant there? Constant minus 2, right? So you have plus or minus 1, plus or minus what? 2. Now let's see when f or maybe when x equals minus 1, right? So we have, we have this, okay? Let's go. That is 2. 2 minus 1 q. Minus 1 square minus this is now 5. Are you okay? Good. Minus what? 2. You still want to bring my uh, equals minus 6. No. Now for that case. Are you okay? Now what are you going to get here? Everything. Zero, right? It's going to be zero. So this implies x plus 1 is what? A factor. It's obvious, isn't it? 
x plus 1 is a factor. Remember, it is this x plus 1 for the factor 2 and which will produce minus 1. So the fact that you put minus 1 does not mean you are going to say x minus 1 is a factor. No. The actual factor which produced the minus 1 was rather x plus 1. Are you okay? So if that is a factor, we do our long division here, right? Good. So I have 2s cubed minus x squared minus 5x minus what? 2. And let's go. This will enter here as what? 2x squared. This by this will give you 2x what? cubed. This by this will give you what? Minus 2x squared. This by this is what? Plus 2x. Okay. So this, minus 1, minus 2. What will I get? Minus 3. Be very careful of the negative, right? It's negative here already, right? Minus 1, minus 2. Minus 3, x squared. I know what this thing now. Good. Now this will go here. That will give me 3x. Agree? Now this by this will give me minus 3x squared. This by this will give me minus 3x. In the name of subtraction here again, right? This is minus 3 minus, minus that use zero here, right? So this, minus 5 minus, minus 2. So that's minus 5 minus, minus, this one you are seeing, right? What are we going to get? Minus 2. Minus 2. Okay, so be very careful with your negatives. Minus 2x. I lower this thing down. You remember? Good. Now this into that, we have minus 2. Now minus 2 by this is minus 2x. Minus 2 by this is minus 2. That's 0, 0, right? Okay. Now what is going on here? So I have f of x. My first thing is my factor plus a quadratic expression, right? You know if they say factor is complete, you can't just leave it like this. No. You can't just leave this. You have to break this so it to be completely, okay? So I have something to do. That is to break this quadratic. Are you seeing that? Okay, so the quadratic, so that is 2 by minus 2, you are going to get minus 4. So what two numbers will I put together to get minus 4 when I say good But when I had, I get this. In case your quadratic is no good, there is an easy way I used to get right. What are the numbers are the edges? That is what you see here. Find two numbers, you multiply and get this. But when you add, you get this middle term. Why are we doing this? 1, 2, 3. This is a 3 term quadratic expression. We can go. So we are making an assumption on the middle one to make them four. So we can group. That was it. Now, so what I'm going to factor is minus four and positive four is one. So two x minus four x plus one x minus two. Good. One, two, three, four. I can now do my method of grouping from algebra. Are you okay? So this is two x out, x minus four. One out. No. This is two, right? There is also x minus what? 2. So you have 2s plus 1, x minus what? 2. So I've done that, right? So now, this is now my f of x. Watch. x plus 1, 2s plus 1, x minus 2. That is my f of x. So I'll factorize f of x completely. That's all. The last one. Find the true set of the equation. This is just the same as telling you find the zeros of what? What do you see, right? So I was given the condition. Let's go. If f of x equals zero, what is your headache? Like this. Uh, then is this. This equals zero. So s equals minus one, right? Two x plus one equals zero. That is two x equal negative one. S equals negative one over what two. Are you okay? Also s minus 2 equals 0, s equals what? 2. So find the true set. This is the true set. s is subject, s equals minus 1, comma, minus half, comma, and 2. Or you can bring minus half, you know, the remainder, right? So, once I say comma, it's not in proper order. I'm not saying minus 1 is bigger than minus half. I never said that. It's comma. Comma means you and I. It doesn't mean you are bigger than me, right? So that is it. So I hope you are getting it. So they can tell you find the zeros of that. Find the zeros. Or this equals that. Now what if they tell you f of s equals 3? You just have to bring them to 3 and just hold them out. Are you okay? Good. That is the end of the topic called polynomial functions. Right? At the end of our videos, we have a series of questions that you can go through.
Please take our time through the videos. Other text on any challenge at the comment section, right? Good. Please continue to make good use of their playlist, right? See you.